Good morning, Privateer FX fans. Should be an interesting morning after a very interesting Friday non farm payrolls. Let's have a quick look at equities. Wham! They did what we asked them to do once we broke that trend line. We had two days of sideways motion and then uh, the big hammer hammer time day on Friday we've already printed a lower low today uh, 2733 another quick 22 handles there on that first hourly bar uh, we're expecting some consolidation uh, you want to try and sell today between 55 and 85 for short stocks, which dovetails into our uh, intrepid pal Aussie Yen. Like pulling teeth, this guy. Um, but he is doing what we asked him to do, so we should cut, some, cut him some slack. And this looks like a turn bar down here, but we choose to ignore it based on the current conditions. We are trading it here. Uh, we're probably not as short as we would like to be, but we will be reselling this at 50 today. It's trading at 25 now. This uh, European Open, I think, is going to be very important. You do have to wonder if the muscle in Asia was less because of the Super Bowl. I don't know. It could be a stretch, that. But uh, I do think this will be an important European Open and we expect risk off and a dollar buying we'll see what we get we're, we're an hour away from when London walks in see what happens uh, let's get to the uh, G7 stuff more bad news in the UK bearish engulfing from the highs uh, Cable's poised for lower. We've already printed a new low, 140.82. We're back exactly where we opened. We opened at 11, uh, one, one ele 141.11 at 18. It was the first opening price last night. We're here at 17.18. Um, we do like this lower. Technically, it's not super clear. You're going to have some amazing entry. So, core shorts is the way to do it. Mind your average. You could probably use this 200 hour as your stop. Euro. Little trickier. But we do know where we want to enter. 123.85. Those triple, quadruple bottoms there on the hourlies. Check out the four hourlies here. It's these here. Uh, you could argue that you could probably draw this line. It's a redraw now because we kind of went through it on Friday. But there's some sort of defining upward sloper. Many ways to draw that. This could be of interest as well, but we're going to wait. And because we're in a bullish phase in Euro dollar, we're going to wait uh, for 123.86. We do like Euro Yen lower. We're already short Euro Yen. We sold some on Friday. We're going to add through 70 now. 70 happens to be the same exact low as Friday and today. European stocks are getting trashed, people. No one's really talking about our friend the DAX on its knees. CAC. Not too healthy. So, Euro Yen as a risk proxy makes a little bit of sense to us. We're adding one uh, 136.70. Let's see how that goes. You could argue sterling yen. There should be some sort of point here. I just don't know where it is. Uh, we gapped open lower. We've closed the gap. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really know. Aussie CAD Kiwi did exactly what we asked him to do on Friday. A little bit dicey getting into that first dollar CAD long. But it paid in the end, so we're thankful for that. Aussie's made a new low. 
I, you know, you could argue that this should probably be a sell right here at 79.40, which was sort of the final last gasp break late Friday. But remember, after the 40 break, we traded to 56, 59. So really, you want to sell Aussie in front of 77. But remember, RBA is this week. And uh, there will be some square up before the RBA. Quickly on the dollar czar, we talked about this. We were waiting for the bad news. The bad news came. Like Zuma, like a bad odor. Doesn't really want to leave. Plus dollar strength, plus equity weakness. We got this big, nasty green bar. Nasty if you're a czar fan. Uh, we'll take it. So we're buying, uh, we're buying dollar czar again. We're going to just chuck some break trades in through the highs. Try to collect some, collect some between 95 and the figure if we get lucky. Uh, you know where your stop is. This 1180 area now looks uh, like granite. So, no tears. You've got your professional stop there. Ideally, you you, you don't want to get long until you make a new high here because you want to confirm this green bar. And the green bar technically is not confirmed until until 12:10 uh, trades. We're basically 12.04 now, 12.10, we'll trade in a heartbeat um, if we get a bit of a dollar bullish buying, so be on your toes. Dollar CAD, if you're not long, we don't suggest entering here. You kind of missed it, so just leave it. Uh, and Kiwi, it's been lagging. See Aussie Kiwi? Man, where's that Kiwi chart? We're very, very familiar with the 72.80 area. We printed it again last night, 72.77 low. Um, you'll all remember that we were selling through 90 last week. We went to 80 and then went all the way back up. This looks like an interesting point, a bull bear line, whatever you want to call it. So prices below 80 or probably below 77 will probably lead to more lower prices. Something to watch. But Aussie's been the Aussie's been the clear path on the Aussie CAD Kiwi sell recommendation. You still got paid in, in Kiwi, it's just been slower going, but you might see acceleration through seventy two eighty. Um so just something to keep in mind. Okay, a lot happening out there. Uh, we're looking maybe changing trend in the dollar here. Keep an eye on the yields, 284 right now in the tens. And I wish you good luck. Ciao.